Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Time is currently 613 on this Monday morning after seeing a beautiful weekend. Weather-wise, we do have some changes as we head out the door this morning. All that thanks to a cold front that is working its way into the Beehive State. So if you're getting ready to hit the road, you might want to factor in some extra time, especially across northern Utah as we are tracking some valley rain and mountain snow. Some light rain moving through the Salt Lake Valley after seeing some steady rain earlier. Now that steadier rain is currently moving through portions of northern Davis County, Weber County, southeastern Box Elder County, and Cache County also seeing some rain. Given our temperatures are still, I would say, on the mild side of things, but much cooler cooler compared to what we saw over the weekend. Also seeing some spotty showers across central and southern Utah with some snow around Bryce Canyon country and also seeing times of rain and snow across portions of Millard and Beaver County with snow levels mainly starting at and above 7,000 feet out there this morning. As we go through today, we're expecting valley rain and mountain snow with the healthiest snow accumulations likely being for most mountains along and south of I-80 down through the central mountains. And because of that, we do have a winter weather advisory currently in place from the southern Wasatch Mountains down through the southern mountains as the southern Wasatch could pick up between 8 to 16 inches of snow isolated up to 20. These are in effect through 9 o'clock tonight. While our other mountains could see 6 to 12 isolated up to 15 for the northern Wasatch Mountains, we won't see quite as much, but as we've already seen, like in places like Snow Basin, we've already seen a few inches of snow. Main accumulations will be above 7,000 feet with snow levels ranging anywhere from 6,000 to 7,500 feet across the state. There's also going to be the potential of a few rumbles of thunder, so do not be surprised that as we go through today, you hear those rumbles of thunder, and it's going to be another reason why that you want to keep your eyes to the sky just in case. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast, and I'll stop this at noon today. The best chance of wet weather overall will be across central and in northern Utah with isolated showers down south. This is showing at midday today. Maybe Salt Lake and Utah counties will be the emphasis along the Wasatch Front. It's not going to be one of those days where we see nonstop wet weather 100% of the time. But as you'll see here with the future cast at any point today, there's a decent chance that wet weather will find you down in St. George. We can't rule out the chance of wet weather, but by the time you make your way down into Washington County, Kane County and southeastern San Juan County, your chance of wet weather is definitely lower compared to areas off to the north. And maybe by this evening, we see another round for showers along the Wasatch front and for the Wasatch back. And then by the overnight hours tonight, our storm system starts to pull away and we'll be looking at a mix of sun and clouds for our Tuesday and by tomorrow. Temperatures will be pretty close to where they should be for this time of year for daytime highs. And our temperatures won't move much as we go into our Wednesday and Thursday, thanks to a weak front that's going to be moving through. Maybe a slight chance for some showers by Wednesday, but overall we'll be looking at drier conditions and seasonal conditions once we get past today before we warm things back up by the end of this week. Here's one place that's actively seeing snow, Bryce Canyon at Ruby's Inn. You can see the snow falling from the sky right there. A really cool view on this early Monday morning. While Utah State University in Logan seeing some light rain, just enough to keep the roadways on the wet side of things. So if you're traveling across the northern half of the state, if you're down in our valleys, be prepared for some wet streets. And if you're going to be traveling in the high country, be prepared for some winter driving, especially again above 7,000 feet. Temperatures as you head out the door, 30s and 40s for most, while St. George is waking up to a temperature of 51 degrees. As we go through today along the Wasatch Front, we'll be holding on to that good chance for showers. Again, not going to be nonstop all day, but that chance will be there. You'll probably want the rain jacket as temperatures will be climbing to the upper 40s and low 50s for most along the Wasatch Front, which is roughly 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. So your daytime high of 51 in Logan, 50 in Salt Lake, 57 in Cedar City, and we'll start to see at least a few 60s on the map as you make your way into southernmost Utah. St. George comes in right around 70. In Park City, expecting mainly snow today, even with a daytime high of 40, and throughout the Wasatch back, some minor accumulations today can't be ruled out. We'll see a daytime high of 61 in Castledale, 40 degrees in Fairview. Then as you make your way down into southern Utah. Again, we'll mainly see 40s and 50s with a few 60s on the map right there with 64 in Lake Powell, while St. George will be the warm spot. The cold front that we talked about Tuesday into Wednesday, that won't make its way down to St. George. So while we have a slight chance today for the rest of the week, mix of sun and clouds, and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, daytime highs will be in the 80s. Along the Wasatch Front, a good chance for rain and thunderstorms for today, and then partly cloudy with low 60s tomorrow, a slight chance on Wednesday, and then by the end of this week into this upcoming weekend, temperatures climb back above seasonal norms.